Hey friends, this is Marilyn from TarotClarity.com and I've seen that Masha um, dropped her, her seventh video on top tarot trumps and today today's focus is on the lover's card or the lover card depending on how you see it and which decks you use. So I have pulled five uh, lover cards or lover's cards that I particularly like. Now, as I mentioned every time, I have not gone through every single one of my tarot decks to check out, you know, the, uh, the lover card. I just recall some decks that I have that I made a mental note of liking, you know, whatever the feature card is for the day. Today, that's what I did. So I have pulled five lover cards. I'll flip the camera and you can look at the backs of these cards and see if you can guess what some of these decks might be. Well, I make it a little easy because I have the boxes associated with them. We have here the Ehrenberg Tarot, the Anonymous Tarot of Paris. This one is not in its original box, but it's the Fergus Hall's um, Tarot of the Witches, originally called the 007. Here we have Fortuna Tarot, and here we have my beloved Metelli deck by um, Marco Benedetti. Now, they're not in any particular order. They're not necessarily in my favorite from, you know, favorite to, to least or anything like that. I figure I just will start from the center since that's front and center, and this deck is from the Fergus Hall. I like this because it's seductive, it's sexy. Um, but it's also none, you know, we can't tell the genders, you know, you know, I kind of like that in this day and age when we talk about love, you know, we acknowledge that different people love who they love, you know, and so we no longer would, you know, necessarily impose, um, what is correct, <laughs> you know, who is a correct person, because we love who we love, right? And so I think um, this, this card kind of expresses that ambiguity. Plus, I think it's sexy. The Anonymous Tarot of Paris, this one uh, published by the International Museum of Tarot. It's not a facsimile deck, but it's a deck that they... Um, freshened up the image so that it's easier to see. Here we do have a heterosexual couple and it seems like they're actively engaged in a playful sexual act. And I kind of like that because it's also in its own way kind of sexy. The Fortuna deck has a very unusual card representing the lovers. Now it's not called the lover. In this deck, it's called the lovers, plural. And it appears to me to be something of a mirror. Now, when you look in a mirror, you see yourself. So there could be an admonishment to love yourself. And if you love yourself, you know yourself. You know, know thyself kind of thing. It could also mean love others as you love yourself. Um, so there's a few ways to interpret this outside of a... <clears throat> Uh, romantic way of, of, of seeing love. Now in the old days, you know, in the period of time when this deck would have been created and before, um, you know, the, the lover card was represented more like a contractual thing, you know, not, not so much a romantic love, but love as a, as a, almost like a legal bond, you know, where they, um, are legally bound to one another. So that even the earliest, you know, lover cards weren't necessarily about romantic love, although this one kind of looks like, you know, it's fun, but, you know, fun physical love. Um, anyway, I don't know why I got off on that. Here we have the Metelli, which is one of my absolute favorite decks. And the Metelli is simply, it eliminates the, 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 the concern of, hetero versus any other type of love because it's just the concept of love. Right, with, with Cupid. And the 
Ehrenberg Tarot. Again, it was just two people holding hands. It could represent a bond between them. It could represent shared romantic intimacy between them, but we don't know who they are. And so we're not putting our expect expectations or per personal preferences on it. You know, love is love and these people love each other. We do have a reference to Adam and Eve, so there is that. But um, I still think, by and large, it, it just shows love between people. That's not necessarily determined or um, included with any you know, parameters of, of, of what society says is the only way to love. So... I, I like most. I like these because I think there's a sense of um, not portraying what is considered the only way to love another person, you know. And there's multiple ways to love multiple kinds of people, and I think these decks share that, with the exception of this deck, just showing kind of a sexiness between a male and a female. Which is fine too, you know, people can love in that way as well. But I do like these other ways of portraying love without, without suggesting who um, we are supposed to love. Until next time, friends, peace, stay well, be kind, and do no harm.